Hi. Yesterday I asked on my Facebook, what makes you happy? And I got several responses, and I'm going to share with you some of the responses I got here. And the first one was from Jen Thama, who said, knowing how much God loves me, that makes her happy. Do you know how much God loves you? That he's given you a breath of life today, that you woke up healthy, I believe. You have a house, I believe so. You have something to eat, I believe so. Maybe a job or a business. God loves you and his grace, because it's only by his grace that we continue to enjoy his love, not because of the things that we do. So, Jen is always happy of how God loves her. Mark Chooks Nwadioha says this, putting smiles on those I meet. That's wonderful. Because what you give out, you get. That's nature. That's how it happens. Whatever you give out, you get back. So I believe that Mark is one of the happy, happiest people around his uh, neighborhood because the more he gives out, the more he makes people smile, he gets smiles back and he's happy. Yes, I believe you, Mark, that that makes you happy. Then we have Rodick Dickey who said that being happy makes her happy. Do you get that? Being happy makes her happy. <laughs> Look at it this way. It's out of a corn seed that you get corn. So, if you want to be happy, <laughs> you can just decide to be happy. And that seed of happiness that you decide, yes, I'm going to be happy, it's what generates greater happiness every day of your life because it's a choice you make it doesn't just happen because if you're waiting for your neighbors to make you happy you will wait for long your family to make you happy your boss to make you happy you may wait for a lifetime or the government to make you happy <laughs> sometimes it will just never happen so you've got to decide like crows be happy and you'll be happy we have Kerry Dolman who said that her family makes her happy. And aren't we all happy, those of us who have a family? We should be happy if we do have a family. And it doesn't have to be 100% good family. No, no, no. You may not always get 100%. Your children may not be 100%. Your spouse may not be 100%. Your brothers and sisters may not be 100% what you would want them to be, but you continue to love them. And you continue to be happy just because you have them in your life. We have Prajot Singh who says this, talking with strangers makes him happy. And I'll tell you a story of how we met with Prajot. I'm in an office. I'm waiting to be served. And a guy is sitting next to me. And I can see that this guy is my, minding my business instead of minding his own business. I try to ignore him. Five minutes passes. And he says, hi. I say, hi, back. And I continued doing whatever I was doing. After another five minutes, he asked me, what's your name? I say, my name is Anthony. Uh, what is your name? He tells me, my name is Prajot. Okay, that's good. And I continued doing whatever I was doing. And then he asked me, where do you come from? I come from Kenya. And you? And he told me whatever he comes from. And I continued doing whatever I was doing trying as much as possible to mind my own business. And this Prajot kept on minding my business. I wonder why. After maybe the fourth or fifth question, trying to 
ask many things about my country and things like I, I kind of started to get interested to speak to him more because I started to see that we, it's like it's somehow we are bonding and after 10 minutes we are talking like friends who've known each other for a long time and we find that we have so many things in common and the guy is a bright guy and as we are talking he introduces me to his fam uh, fam uh, family who i mean the mother and father are together in this office as we are waiting to be served and within just half an hour i have three people that i have known that seems like i have known them all my life and we are chatting and we are discussing this and that and uh, as lo as soon as we were served we said very good goodbyes but that was not the last bad bye because up to today here it's prajot who responds here on what makes him happy and now i want to believe that very very many people are happy because of you prajot because of going after your passion meeting strangers talking to them not everybody would do that i may be not one of those people that goes talking to strangers if each stranger i meet but i admire your quality i admire that outgoing quality that you have in you and i know that you can do quite much without outgoing you that you don't mind whom you're talking to you just talk and you talk until you get a breakthrough and this is to any other person out there so maybe that if you're listening maybe well, that could be one of the things you apply in your own lives talk to strangers and try to find some joy in it <laughs> sometimes it's scary but uh, you can ask for guidance from Prajot of how he does it so well we have uh, rosemary rollins who says that good humor makes her happy and, and i wonder who doesn't like a laugh once now and again i like good humor and uh, it makes me happy it makes rosemary happy and i guess it makes you happy also so it, life is not all gloomy uh, yes you may be in a serious business you may be in a serious job environment but some good humor can always lighten your day we have aturo rc true learning and gratitude true learning and gratitude so that's good because we should continuously be learning and always be grateful like uh, jane thama said be grateful of what god has done in your life be grateful for the small things then we have luisa to be nice to others and reading god's word oh, that's great so i guess luisa you're like prajot that you are talking to your neighbors and strangers and being good to them that's good i admire that continue to do like that and may you continue to enjoy happiness so we have recho mwaora when impossible situation turns into triumph a triumph one cause with motivation things can shift when an impossible situation turns into triumph do you know that there are many instances that i have met with impossible situations and they have become try i mean i have become triumphant in them and uh, who wouldn't be happy when all you've been trying goes through when all the dreams you've been trying to chase finally become a reality when all the doors you've been trying to knock open <laughs> finally open so because some some of the things that we try are really big some of the things that we uh we confront seem impossible so when something happens and doors open and the impossible becomes possible then we can always be happy uh we continue it's quite a long list but we are almost done uh we have Kare Kafue who says that 
knowing that God got my back in whatever I do. That's knowing that God has got her back in whatever she does. And no, really, if you know Kare Kafue, you should know that God has got her back in whatever she's been through. And she's been triumphant in many things. And I understand when you say that you are always happy when you know that God has got your back. God bless you, Kare. Irakris, Evrachos, many things. And this is the key of happiness. Yeah. Lacry says that many things, many things, I mean, he, it's, it's like the list could be endless for Lacry to be happy with everything that the Lord gives you, small or great. Yes, that's the key, Lacry, to be happy on every single little thing that we have in our life. Every single little thing that we have in our life, finding happiness in just waking up, waking up in the morning, going to work, going to your business, coming back at home, having family, having every single thing in your life. When you appreciate, when you have gratitude over it, then you can be happy. That's the key. That's the key. Thank you, Heracles, for giving us the key. And... Uh, uh, we have uh, people, France, Francis Mackenzie, who says that people being kind to each other and hearing a baby laugh, being compassionate, that makes her happy. And George says, waking up healthy to see another day. That makes him happy. Thank you, George Nyanchoka. And... Uh, that is what makes them happy. What about you? What makes you happy? If you've been trying to search for happiness, then take Heracles' key, which is being thankful and being happy for everything that the Lord gives you. And... Uh, a question comes in, in the midst of those answers, a question comes in from Mr. John Kafue Nyaga. And this question I send to you. The question is, how do we realize the great dream of loving one another? Ask your question. Please answer it below. How do we realize the great dream of loving one another? This is Anthony, and I thank you very much for taking your time and watching this video. Have a great day, and until next time, bye for now. God bless.